Hi guys, welcome to December 9th of our Gifts of Kindness countdown. So let's see, how are you guys been doing? Have you been doing them? Have they been good? Have you been remembering to do them throughout the day? Sometimes that's the tricky thing. When you're doing something that you're not used to doing, sometimes it's hard to think about it. So let's see what number nine wants us to do. Read a Bible story to someone and talk about what you learned from it. So if you don't know how to read, but you maybe have um, your storybook Bible, but maybe you've been following along with our Advent stories that we've been having read every day, maybe share one of those stories. Pull out that Bible and share it with a friend or a relative or some a parent, maybe a mom or dad, haven't actually sat down and um, watch the admins with you. So maybe share one of those stories with them. And so do that. That's day number nine. So we'll see you guys back tomorrow for day number 10. Hi guys, uh, it's Brenda Woolley here and I get to share the story with you today. Um, this is the ornament that we're going to be um, looking at to remind us what the story is about. It's about Joseph and his amazing coat and it's called the forgiving prince it's one of my very favorite stories out of the bible because to me it's the um, crux of the bible what jesus came to do is forgive us of all our sins and to help us to forgive those around us so this story is called the forgiving prince jacob had 12 sons but of all his sons joseph was his favorite one day, Jacob gave Joseph a splendid new robe. It was beautiful and rich with all the colors of the rainbow, but it made Joseph's brothers very jealous. They wanted rich rainbows too. Then, to make matters worse, Joseph kept on having those special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest. I was king, Joseph told his brothers and you all bowed down to me. Now, I'm sure you know, even if Joseph didn't, that telling your brothers things like that isn't a very good idea. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's rainbow robe off him and sold him to slave traders for 20 pieces of silver. The traders took Joseph to Egypt and made him into a slave. The brothers went home and they lied to their father, telling him that Joseph was dead when he really wasn't. That's the end of that dreamer, they thought, but they were very wrong. God had a magnificent dream for Joseph's life and even when it looked like everything had gone wrong, God would use it to help make the dream come true. God would use everything that was happening to Joseph to do something good. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from home and from his dad. Then he got blamed for something he didn't even do. And even though he had done so nothing wrong, he was punished and he was thrown in jail. But do you think God left Joseph? Nope. God did not leave Joseph in jail alone. One night, Pharaoh, who's king of Egypt, he had a really scary dream about thin cows gobbling up really big fat cows. What on earth did that mean? He had no clue. But Joseph was a dream, Joseph was a dream expert. So Pharaoh sent for him. It means a famine's coming, Joseph ex exclaimed. They won't, there won't be enough food. Pharaoh was so pleased by Joseph's skill that he immediately took Joseph out of jail and he made him a prince. So now back at home, Joseph's brothers had run out of food and everyone was so hungry. God's special family was in danger. If they didn't get food soon, they would starve to death. 
So Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to buy food. They came back and knelt before the new prince. His brothers didn't know that the prince was Joseph, but Joseph knew who they were. Joseph's dream, the one about his brothers bowing down to him, was coming true. It's me, Joseph cried. When they saw it was Joseph, his brothers were so afraid because of all that they'd done. They had wronged Joseph. They had sinned and they knew it. Now Joseph would certainly punish them. But Joseph looked at his brothers and his eyes filled with tears. Even though his brothers had hurt him and hated him and wanted him dead, in spite of everything that they'd done to him, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart, which they had broken, filled up with love, and Joseph forgave them. Joseph threw his arms around them. Don't be afraid, he said. Behind what you were doing, underneath everything that was happening, God was doing something good in spite of it. God was making everything right again. Joseph didn't punish them. He rescued them. He brought God's special family to live safely with him in Egypt. And one day, God would send another prince, a young prince whose heart would break. Like Joseph, he would leave his home and father. His brothers would hate him and want him dead. He would be sold for pieces of silver, and he would be punished, though he had done nothing wrong. But God would use everything that happened to this young prince, Jesus, even the bad things, to do something good to forgive the sins of the whole world. One of my favorite stories. Let's pray. God, we just thank you for your Bible that is so true. Every word of it, Lord, it helps us um, in our daily life. God, I pray for all the children, kids, older kids that are watching this, Lord, that they would know how much you love them and how much you've forgiven them. And God, during this time that we're looking forward to, to Christmas, to remembering your birth, Lord, help us to remember how much you love us and how much you've forgiven us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Bye. See you later.